that there's lots of cheering in the arena, and soon the Gamecocks will be coming out.
from Lawrence. And uh, he said he actually called off a ward today. He said he had to come out. He had to support the Gamecocks. So a lot of people making their way here to Columbia this uh, this morning. You know, while we're standing by, I'm going to see if I might be able to sneak out a line here for a second, see if we might be able to talk to some people, see if uh, any of our friends, any of the fans here. Hey, guys. joined here by three-time national champion Don Staley. Congratulations on the big win. You guys are able to do this. And your players talked so much about how much they wanted to do this for you. There were tears from you afterwards. They talked about seeing you shed those tears. What was in that emotion for you? Um, I, I was just full of, of joy, spiritual joy, uh, spiritual fulfillment, um, and a and a and a, and, and, a, and a want for our players. Like, I wanted our players to win the national championship. I wanted our coaches to experience that. I wanted everybody that has an important role or unimportant role on our team to feel that. I wanted the highlighters to, to be proud of us. You know, they, they prepared us to win a national championship. Um, I wanted all the watch parties to be um, in stitches. I wanted, I wanted them to jump in the... Um, the Cooper Library, uh, uh, waterfalls. I, I wanted all of that. I wanted everybody to experience s such the joy it is in in winning a, a national championship. A national championship, a perfect season. S women's basketball has never been more accessible and more viewed than it is right now. To have South Carolina on top of the end of such a historic season, what's that say? I mean to say our game is growing, and I, I do think that Caitlin Clark has a lot to do with it. So we're going to give her I mean, a huge shout out in being um, one that has lifted us, you know, from, from here to higher heights. And we can't let that go by and go unnoticed without just thanking her for that because it's a heavy load for her to bear. But at the end of 2024, we are national champions, so I hope in some way we've helped elevate our game. Well, the future is bright because you're bringing back a lot of players, and we can't wait to come along for the ride once again. Thank you so much, Don, for your time. Another national championship. Congratulations. Reporting for Fox Carolina Sports, I'm Beth Wool. All right. Well, that was 
our sports director, Beth Poole, with head coach Don Staley right after her second national championship win in just the past three years. And we want to go ahead and take you guys down the line because we've had some very excited fans out here today. This is arguably the most excited group. Are you guys students or why are you so excited? We're national champions! Bench, but South Carolina have 37. That dad was we are an exceptional team and why we ever go undefeated this whole season. Oh yeah, so uh, so next year then, already looking ahead to next year. I guess back another back, national back, championship? Back to back, 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 back. baby. Baseball did it 13 years ago. We could do it this year. We could do it next year. You think that uh, the team now they seem really confident, seem really happy after that win. You think they'll be able to do that next year as well? Oh yeah, we have Dawn Staley, we could do anything under her. We can oh, do anything. Such an exciting and it really inspiring. She's just really inspired the team. One of the things we kept hearing is that all the players said they wanted to do this for their coach, Don Staley. What kind of a, an inspiration is she here on campus? She's huge. I mean, she's a figurehead. To be honest, she should have a statue in front of CLA immediately. I, I know she doesn't. I know she said she didn't want that, but it's all about love. It's all about this campus. She cares about us. She cares about the team. She cares about the university, and that's all that matters in my book. All right, perfect. I love that. All right, guys. We'll be back next year. We'll see you guys all right here next year. We've got some excited fans. All right, we got to keep moving down the line here and come meet some more people. We saw you guys. Uh, we saw you in line. Are you excited to be here? How do you feel today? Oh, I feel like a champion. I think that we all, I think we all will never lose. Number 10 and I'll quit. Oh, <laughs> don't quit. 10 is a good, a good number, good starting point for sure. You know, you 10 is good. You know, 3, 10, 15, you know, just keep building the national. Champions, uh, championship wins uh, for the game. Anything that really stood out that was just like amazing that you guys think really made the difference in getting this win. But I, I just want to say um, shout out to Papa and Cam Cadoso and and Don Staley and for life. Shout out how much how much Cadoso done changed from the beginning of the season up to now. She did a phenomenal job up to now, and I'm just so proud to be part of the girls and everybody. Woo! As soon as you guys found out this was happening, did you make the plan? but I'm feeling a lot better right now. What she said, the first like four minutes were brutal and um, now it's good, we're a little bit more calm. Picking up a little bit, so going good. Definitely a revenge game for out to beat Iowa. Not gonna lie, you know, a little mixed emotions because happy for the state of South Carolina, 
I also go to uh, the South Carolina University of South Carolina Medical School, but I also went to Clemson for undergrad, so a little bit of both. But I like to see that uh, Kaylin Clark got a lot of points up there today. Cardosa and Clark went crazy today. Absolutely nuts. Like she put up like 30 points and like eight assists or something, and uh, it was kind of cool to see for you know a final a final finish. Um, before joining the WNBA, for sure. Listen, I wanted to honor them Gamecocks, Coach Staley and the Gamecocks. They had an amazing, amazing season, an amazing season. Stuck together as a team, won as a team, and they celebrated as a team, and it was class act, was a class act. This is the best feeling in the world. We just won the national championship. Don Staley is amazing. Our team did great. They showed up, they showed out. Iowa did amazing as well. Um, Caitlin Clark was great, but we got the victory, baby. Go Cox! <laughs> All right, guys, I wanted to bring you guys up here so that we could go ahead and take a quick look at the podium. Uh, take a look right there uh, next to South Carolina way, I would say. You can see the South Carolina 2024 champions right there the sign and above it national champions 2024 they were ready for this and they are more than excited for this win also up on the stage if you take a look at the flowers that they have on the stage there's something that you might notice at the bottom the net from one of the basketball hoops there and also a basketball right in there so a little bit of fun there and we also have some chairs up on the stage that is where we're expecting to see some possibly some of the players possibly some of the coaches sit the podium is ready to go we've got people starting to fill into the seats right here on the floor it's usually where the basketball court is but today it's where we will be celebrating the women's basketball team following that national championship all right we saw this part of the arena let's go ahead and check out this side over here and uh, on this side of the arena a lot of people crowding in if you look at the top over here this is that section we keep referring to as almost standing room only and this is all Tessa Johnson, number five, forward. Uh, it's such a cool season. Uh, next year, I'm guessing you guys are kind of hoping for a repeat performance. Uh, yeah, back to back, because that's how we roll here in Columbia. One thing we keep hearing all day, everybody's been talking about really just what an inspiration head coach Don Staley is, not only to the players, but to the fans alike. So what, well, how did the head coach really inspire everyone on campus? Uh, she's just an amazing person. She always puts everyone else first. And, I mean, even not South Carolina fans always talk about how great of a person she is. So that just shows how our program rolls. I mean, also, a huge year for women's sports. Women's basketball really in the forefront this year. How exciting is that? That's amazing, especially considering we're one of the top programs in the country. So all eyes are here on Columbia and our women's program. Well, it sounds like the all eyes are going to stay on Columbia, so long as the fans have it that way. All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and send it on over. Go ahead and take a listen. South Carolina is celebrating its third national championship in program history, and these fans showed up for their team from all across the country, but also from Columbia and Greenville. I caught up with a mother and a daughter who booked this trip last second. It would have come from a FaceTime call at about 1230 yesterday afternoon, being like, Mom, let's just go do it. Like, we have nothing to do. Like, no reason not to go. Like, let's drive. And so I drove from Columbia to Charlotte. She drove from Greenville to Charlotte. And I hopped in her car, and we drove straight here. But these moments are special, especially being a student at the, South, at the University of South Carolina. And my mom's an alum of the university. And not everyone gets to have these experiences with their mom children so I'm really lucky to have a mom who wants to travel nine hours and see our Gamecocks win a national championship.
during this historic season in women's college basketball, the most watched season of all time, they spoke about sharing this moment together as mother and daughter. We went to Minneapolis and she didn't get to stay for the final game because she had to work at Augusta. So this game, we left at 4 o'clock yesterday, got here at 4 in the morning last night. It was a one minute, last minute decision. And for her to be with me when my last daughter was with me at the last championship, because she's going to graduate in a year, means the world to me. This team is everything to this university. My friends and I went to countless games. I mean, we're so proud to call ourselves students because they represent us so well and they have so much talent and hold themselves to a high standard. And it makes us as students proud to call ourselves Gamecocks. They represent our university and they represent us. And we love to be able to say go Cox anywhere we are. This week, head coach Dawn Staley spoke about making this worth it for people spending their hard earned money to be here in Cleveland, Ohio. And for a mother daughter from Greenville, it was certainly worth it, as was it for us, the local media who she spends so much time graciously giving to. And we are just happy to be along for the ride. For Fox Carolina Sports, celebrating another national championship for the Gamecocks, I'm Carmine Jume. And we're still here in Columbia bringing you the latest as we're waiting for the Gamecocks to walk right through that tunnel right now. And there's actually a lot of media lined up waiting for the Gamecocks to make their way into Colonial Life Arena. Everyone is standing by. And we feel a little fooled. We thought they were coming in a little earlier. The lights went down. The music went up. But the Gamecocks are still making their way here. We do have a lot of excited fans here, though, today. Hi. Whoa, Gamecocks. We love you guys. How exciting has this season been for you? Oh, my gosh.
Seahawks win. Uh, we do have a lot of coverage. Like I said, our sports team's been in Cleveland. They were there all last week covering the Gamecocks. And as you look around here, there are a lot of people who've made their way to the arena as well. Let's go ahead and send it on over to our sports team. A store. Oh, actually, it looks like everybody's standing up. It might finally be time, everybody. I think this might be really it. position just in case this is what's happening right now oh i'm getting lots of nods it looks like this is happening for sure everybody here come your 2024 women's national champions in one minute we're told one minute less than a minute until you get to see your national champions walk out of the tunnel everyone is standing up right now and you are looking at the tunnel but if you can kind of see around the tunnel you'll see all of the phones pointed directly at the tunnel a uh, fitting that we're here in Cootie the Bloch fish here uh, some big fans in that group who are big fans of the Gamecocks uh, Darius Rucker we actually saw that he was at the game last night was that just last night it was just last night crazy how much can happen in less than 24 hours again we're just standing right outside of the tunnel here we do have some more coverage uh, to get to if it does take a minute, we have our sports director, Beth Wool and sports reporter, Carmine Jame speaking with the team right after that win. But right now, we're standing outside of the tunnel because we were told in less than a minute, the team should be making their way down that tunnel and out here to the very excited fans. They've been standing by one guy who we met, got here at 11.45 this morning, standing in line, waiting for the doors to open at 12.30. We saw a line stretching across the street here at Colonial Life Arena. Everyone gearing up and excited for the Gamecocks win. Not only a huge win for the Gamecocks, but for women's sports as well. Head coach Don Staley's second national championship win in just three years. A really big sign for the program, and the fans say it's a big sign for the program's future as well. They say Coach Don Staley is an inspiration on campus. The fans love her, the players love her, and they're excited to see her and her team continue moving forward and pushing forward. Uh, while we are waiting, though, I am going to go ahead and see if I can uh, get around, get a little bit of a better view and kind of peek and see if they're coming out of the tunnel yet. It looks like they are not yet. There's no movement over there. So we'll go ahead and send it on over to sports director Beth Hull and sports reporter Carmine Jemay speaking with the team right after that win. South Carolina has done it again. National champions, this time though, an undefeated season as they win their third ever national championship. And I think what was most impressive for me, Carmine, was that they did it their way. Mm -hmm. This was mm -hmm. a classic 2023-24 South Carolina women's basketball game win. It sure was because all year long we heard about the individuals, Caitlin Clark, Paige Beckers, Juju Watkins, well-deserved national attention, Angel Reese as well. But this team is standing on top of a historic season, 38 and 0, and they did it as a team. You saw the bench scoring was indicative of that, 37 to nothing. They outscored Iowa from bench points. Well, and they that was one of the many stats at the end yep. of the day. Iowa jumping out to the early lead in this one, uh, but South Carolina weathered that storm like they have so many times before, and then they out rebounded, they outscored in the end of the day, and then all of those other really niche categories that make South Carolina so special, like those points in the paint, like mm -hmm. those second mm -hmm. chance points, like those bench points. Yeah, you knew you, what you're going to get from six foot seven All American center Camila Cardoso, 15 points, 17 rebounds, dominant inside play. But what you didn't know, who are the other players who are going to step up? And we saw Tessa Johnson come off the bench as just a freshman and have a career high 19 points. Get a shout out from LeBron James on Twitter. Mylasia Full Wiley igniting this run in the first quarter when everything was a little bit tense. Like you mentioned, that 10 nothing start by Iowa. She had nine points and the freshman to step up like that was another key in this win. Yeah, the players afterwards telling us in the locker room how much this meant to them, but most special, I think, was how much this meant for them to see their coach earn this win. We did it for Dawn. She, she, does, she gives everything to us. We have to give everything to her. Yeah, I mean, just seeing her on the bench crying, it was just an unbelievable feeling. I've never seen her cry, so she's a crybaby for that. No. <laughs> no, I'm playing, I'm playing. She always say I cry to the ref, so she, she's a crybaby for that. I'm just, I'm just so happy for her, man. The happy tears, that's an unbelievable feeling, man. I for her to break down and just have happy tears and not crying tears like that, it's just, it motivates us even more to know that.
and your head coach, John Staley. defeated and win the national championship. They passed every test perfection. They won in Paris. They won in places like Durham and Chapel Hill. They won in places you may have never heard of like Uncasville, Connecticut. They won in hostile environments like Baton Rouge. They ran the table in the SEC for the second straight year. This was a team in every sense this of was a team in every sense of the word. The bench was just as important as the starters all season long. They sacrificed personal accolades and attention to put the team first, but they all made a difference. And this is how it's supposed to be. This is what a team looks like. This team put the we ahead of the me, and look where they are. They're perfect. The university has a marketing campaign with the tagline, Behold the Remarkable We. Well, this team fits that pretty well. Behold this Remarkable We. I said it last night and I'll say it again. Perfection wears garnet and black. And now it's my pleasure to introduce someone who knows a little bit about winning some championships, Athletics Director Ray Tanner. Thank you, Brad. Welcome to Colonial Life Arena, home of the 2024 National Champions. <laughs> Two out of the last three years, and if not for COVID, it would be another one. We all know that. I want to congratulate you and say thank you for all your passion, your enthusiasm, the energy that you bring to this building. We got a fantastic group of young women who play basketball, a great coaching staff, the head coach of all time, but they appreciate what you bring when you come in this building because it's a never, ever lose when you're here. So thank you very much for being a part of that. And I appreciate all of you who dried out from being in the Thomas Cooper Fountain last night. Thank you. <laughs> that was a great picture. It is my honor to introduce three in a row National Coach of the Year, a national champion, 38 and 0, the greatest of all time, the GOAT, our head coach, Dawn Staley. It is, uh, it is an, it's an incredible honor, honor to come back to this, to come back to you. We, we, hope, we hope your watch parties were a success, let's say. <laughs> um, it's, it's so cool to come back to a place in which um, we've had so much success. Colonial Life Arena um, and the way that you support our women's basketball team and men's basketball team because it was pretty special up in this place. And we don't lose very many, very many times 
and this place because of the environment that you all create. Um, and the fact that our president, President Amaritas, and our board members chose to, 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 to close class for today <laughs> means <laughs> means they take they take winning and success very very seriously um, we hope that this is an annual day off <laughs> um, but I, I just have to give it up to our players who made a commitment to each other. To, to, to probably do something that, that was totally different than any other team that I coached. They held each other accountable. Um, they encouraged each other. Uh, what you saw them be able to do, like all of them, each and every one of them took their turn in making an impact on any given night for our team to be successful, and they did it in a way in which they lifted up each other. And that is truly, truly an organic, an organic chemistry that you couldn't pay real money to produce. Um, I'll say this. Sometimes we often don't know why. I thought the team that we filled um, last year would have brought home a national championship. It didn't happen. Half of the players on this team felt that loss and they vowed, they vowed to bring it on home. And sometimes they had a little swag about it. Sometimes they had a, a confidence about them. Sometimes it, would, it was a little bit too much for us to take because we didn't know what was going on what was going to happen on the floor. And it happened last night when these players were talking and they used some choice words and we give them their space. We're in the coach's locker room and they're saying, we're going to do this to them. We're going to do that to them. We're going to do this to them. We're going to do that to them. Right? <laughs> Meanwhile, the coaches are in the locker room and we're like, Either we're going to get blown out or we're going to blow them out. <laughs> and I would say for the, for the first three minutes of the game, we got blown out. <laughs> but the 37 other minutes, <laughs> this, team, this team would not be denied this year. I am incredibly proud of them, incredibly proud of them for all they've given. They sacrificed and won every single game. And let me give a shout out to our highlighters. Step forward, fellas. Step forward. These, is our, these are our practice players. And I got to give them a huge shout out because they're the only team that beat us this year. Anyway, before I, before I give the mic to someone else, I just want to shout out our staff, um, our coaches, our trainer, our performance coach, our, our, our everything, our media person, our ticketing, every single person that had an impact um, in the success of our team. And this, this every, every year doesn't end this way, but it doesn't diminish the work that they put in for us to have a year like this, but it's always pretty special when you can end the year on a high note like we, like we have and give credit where credit is due. Um, and then lastly, only by the grace of God that this happens. So thank you very much.
before we go, I think Raven had something to say. The revenge tour is over, and now it's time for the repeat tour. <laughs>